experience these things when uh, I got an invitation, when we mix to the other people, sometimes you forgot that you are a Christian. Ito po ang nakukuha po tayo ng mundo. Minsan nanununa pala tayo, hindi natin nawa-watch yun eh. Be careful, because God called us as the light of this world. Yun po yung mahal na karoon. Okay, so, ito po yung kung bakit importante po ang uh, uh, fellowship sa isang kristyano. Okay, John 13 verse 34, Ano yung commandment I give to you, you must love one another. See, that's why almost just neglecting this because already God is spoken and you don't uh, obey. So what is now coming to the church is not blessing. Because only the word of God, uh, when we possess the word of God, only blessing in course. When you don't obey, because you know the word of God, the blessing it will not come spiritually. So it's already in John 13:34. The new uh, commandment I give to you must love one another. Amen. See? That's why when this church there uh hindi to in exercise na pangako ng Panginoon mayroong epekto sa mga mananampalataya. Ibig sa atin, bilang isang tao, hinahanap po natin ito kasi hindi po nagiging totoo ang salita niya sa iglesia. Para sa chat po itong ano na ito eh, na, ang, ang kanyang salita. We know it, we know it to the world that we see in us that we love one another in unity. See? We are the uh, testimony because of the, the love that say to us that this world didn't have. You know, you have too much gathering, but this love is, you cannot say, there is differences, you know? In one gathering, if it is not for, for God, you can see the difference, even to you. Nahihiya ka na lumapit doon kasi ang kalagayan niya, no? Sinasaalang-alang mo na maaari hindi ka pwede sa kanya dahil siya mayaman o mahirap. Nagkaroon ng ano eh, hindi nagkakaisa ang kanilang isipan at puso. Diba? Ngayon, if it is a, a godly gathering, like a fellowship, it come from God, your, your spirit is free. Manunotis mo na napaka para ba yung kapatid na yung Christian na makatagal nyo ng uh, magkasama, mararamdaman mo yun. Because why? The spirit is one, your heart is one, and your mind is one. See? This is this very important to us. Because already, uh, Jesus told already to his word that a new covenant, a new commandment that I gave to you, you must love one another. This is for specifically for the church. This one. You know? This is very important, that's why. It's you to the world that we in one, in unity. Now the third condition of fellowship is this. Jesus is the Christ center of the church. Not the founder, not the pastor, not who is Jesus alone is the center of the center. So in a fellowship, not like for example, we are talking. We are blessed because you who is the the be uh, in our Tagalog. Pag tayo nag uusap sa fellowship, sino bang bida doon? Diba si Jesus? So si Jesus yung center. This is what the Bible says. Center not, eh, ako kasi ako, ako, no. Live yourself and exalt God's name. That is the reason why we need the fellowship. So, in John, in 1 John 1, 3, He proclaimed to you that He have been and heard so that you may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. 
the revelation of God occurs on the ears, eyes, and touch. It, is, it appears mostly in the living world with the Father and at His creation and reveal in the place of Jesus. See? This is what the first John wanted to tell. That the fellowship of the Father and with the Son, with Jesus Christ, is very important. It was a revelation that occurred. He, uh, Paul, uh, John, told that uh, Jesus, they will see their eyes, they touch, you know, and they hear. This is physically. Now, for, for our Christian, because we don't see Jesus, we, the word of God is in our heart to see Jesus. Now, this word that in our heart we share through fellowship. No? The goodness and the mercy of God we share. That's why you, you have always noticed. Me, familiar, uh, me, me, I always uh, doing this one. Sometimes when I call to the brother and sister, at the time I don't know the situation. They are, you know, weak. They need, you know, uh, to make it uplift, to make it strong. I will share the word through this fellowship. Not in the physical, but you know, it's very important in the telephone you call them because we uh, need you, that it fellowship with you. Okay. The most important of this fellowship is when you share the word of God or something that uh, you get from God, the blessing and the uh, things, the material things that you uh, share to this brother and sister. For example, he needs material things. You know? First to do is to pray one another. This is very important. Prayer or intercession. This is very important in the fellowship. Now, if there is no fellowship, how can this brother and sister about the problem or he needs spiritual counseling, he needs financial or material things? Without this fellowship, how, how did you know? That's why it's very important. No? Okay, uh, <coughs> The fellowship is. This is uh, sometimes we we fail to do these things. Walking in the light. Now, what is meant by walking in the light? So this is walking in the light. Who is the light? Jesus. Huh? Who is Jesus? The Word. And the word is in us, in our heart. So, this is the light. If you walk with the word of God, this is light for you. Why? You are different from the world. Now, if you don't carry this word, you are the same in the world. That's why it's very important, the word of God. You are the living and the walking Bible. To your life. That's the way they are telling this one. Walking in the life. It is very important in the condition of fellowship. The word of God. This is the life. Now, we need to be open. Um, open what? We have to be honest, truthful with one another. No? This is when you walk in the light, you have to be open, you have to be honest and truthful to the other. Sometimes, you notice, know sometimes, we do it. If you are boasting now, and you don't, uh, you know, kung tayo po yung nagyayabang at hindi na natin na gawasan natin yung sarili, pumapasok na po yung lying. Nanonotin po natin yan, hindi marirealize natin, nasabi na pala natin, di ba? 
Now, if you walk in light, the Spirit is there. Guiding you, teaching you to, to these things. So, ito po yung kailangan. Kaya, ma, napakahalaga po ng, ano, ng, uh, uh, it's very important, the fellowship. Now, the other one is confessing our sin to one another in lovely covering other sin. Like this. For example, uh, if there is no fellowship, you're ashamed to say to your uh, mistake, to your fault in your uh, fellow believers. Because there is no fellowship. There is no unity. You know? You're ashamed. But in fellowship, you are open to one another. And sometimes, when you hear some negative things in our brother and sister, you tell it to the other. No? You are not, uh, you know, you are not covering them, but I have to tell it to the other. If you know fellowship, you, you cover these things. You don't see to the others because you know, you are the same. You are in, uni in unity, in, in spirit, in heart, in mind. You can avoid these things, you know? So this is very important. Okay. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walking in the darkness, we do not live in the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of our Jesus Christ, his son, purifies us from every sin. So, this is very important. The blood of Jesus purified us from every sin. Why? You are confessing your weaknesses, your sin to the others, and we pray and the blood of Jesus will come. You, you maintain the spiritual things for you. Because this is the one who reminds, brother, this is wrong and you pray to each other. See? That's why you are walking always in the life because somebody will remain in you. Okay? Obe ob obedient to the life generally and a specific command. Commandment that God has given. See? It is very important. The obedience to the life meaning the obedience to the word. To the word of God. It's a command, a specific command of God that is given to us. So we have to know this, these things. And the third is the removal of any mask or false covering. So sick of the word fellowship. And you know this this is out of out of a uh, role and it's not a uh, genuine uh fellowship when you have a mask you know sometimes even we are christian mayroong tumatabing sa atin we, we have a mask sometimes that mask when you have a uh, fellowship to your brother and sister it will you know it will uh, expose that, that must. It hinders, you know, the word of God to us. Yung kung mayroon tayong tinatago, di ba, na hindi natin na isasabi sa ating mga kapatid dahil nga kulang tayo sa fellowship, narinig na na, 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 na may bintin yan, na, na dyan yan, para hindi tayo makalagad sa uh, salita ng Panginoon. So it's very important to fellowship we can uh, uh, say that this must be removed. Because we share this one. For example, some, something happened to you that hindi mo na kaya isort, di ba? Mayroon kang trust, trusted na mananampalataya na talaga alam mo, isir mo yun, so magpipre kayo ngayon. So no sa pangyayaring yun, may mayroon ang word of God na magbibigay ng lakas para yung bagay na yun ay mawala. That's why uh, the, it's very important. Because the Holy Spirit it, it is in order to pray gathering in your name. God is, is, is the right of us. This is the promise of God. That's why the fellowship is very important. Now, 
It's purify yourself by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for you. And love one another is deeply from God. So it means that what is that kind of love that is uh, supposed to be to us? You know, the word agape. It is from the highest. Agape is the highest form of love comes from God. So this agape love, it is operated in our heart. But without this agape, the highest form of love, we cannot love to our brothers and sisters. So this is the word that uh, uh, must be uh, in the fellowship, the agape. It is the way love which love in despite of uh, kahit ano man siya o sino man siya, itong love na ito mananatili. See? Hindi ito nagpiplis na ikaw ganun at ako ganyan. Hindi. This love, you know, cover all. Hindi nagsasalang-alang sa bawat isa. Itong, this is, you know, this love is unconditional. Coming from God, this love supposed to be we put in this club and fellowship. It is very important. Even you are not compatible or uh, to each other, but because of this love, you unite to one. Is the the world supposed to be uh, we have? considered to be the love originated from God or Christ for mankind. This agape is used by a, a believer to express the unconditional love of God for his children. So, because it's different. The love of the uh, world that uh, we have, it's not the love that comes from God. This is the love that uh, people, you know, feel. This love, this agape. So we have to uh, demonstrate this love to us when it comes to fellowship. This is very important. Okay, and the last is and this, this is very important. Now, it is stated in a uh, First Peter 1 verse 22 Now that you are purifying yourself by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for your uh, brother and sister and a deeply love that uh, you have from your heart. So this is to purify yourself from obeying the truth. This is the word of God that you have sincere love for your brother and sister. See, this is just only the agape love that you become a sincere to brother and sister. A deeply, not a deeply love that you give to your brother and sister. That's why this brother and sister, they feel this love. It's easy to see, I love you, but when it comes to God, when you see it with your heart, the brother and sister will uh, feel this uh, love that you see for them. Okay. That you heard from now, I pray for this to God. That enrich in your heart what is, what, what is the word that comes from uh, here, the Holy Spirit that given to, uh, to you this morning. I pray that uh, this word must be in your heart when you fellowship to other uh, believers. Like I said about brother, we can share how important is the fellowship to each other. Now, the word summary for the fellowship that very most important is to the unity, the love of Jesus. This is the word. 
Okay. I pray that now this word is released to you with power and uh, blessing from God. That when you walk, this word is in your heart to act at all for the brother and sister. Because I know that this is blessing that God given to us. Ito lang po po, kahit maliit na word yan, pag yan nasa puso mo at tinanggap mo, God will do this for you. This is not the many words that comes from you, but that word, the Holy Spirit will enlighten always to you. Because this word is blessed by God. When you walk, you can do it. Not yourself, but to God. Now we, you understand the importance of even of fellowship. Continually with this Christian or believers, today you commit yourself. This is very important. If you don't do it before, this is the time that God reminding us always. You know why this is the end time. Very few church teaching you know about what is God for you and what you're doing to others. It's different. You can notice these things. But we are blessed because God, the Holy Spirit of God, teaches us about these things to us. As a very simple message, but it's a very important message to the Christian. This is a perfect time because see this one, the church is split. What is the cause of the split? Because there is no unity. Lack of fellowship. Okay? That's why a man of God that trusted the work of God must be the spirit is tuned to God. What the spirit is doing, the spirit of that servant is go with the Spirit of God. We have to, you know, be very sensitive. Now, this is the truth. This, this church is like this, you know, count the, the, the uh, you know, the, I think there is like this, but the Holy Spirit is here, you know, giving you the understanding, the wisdom from God. That you now in your heart, that you are, you know, you need this. A simple word, but you need this. You know, to, because you bless by God, you bless to others. For these simple things. I know we experience all of these things, but we don't understand. But why? Because it is very few who teach these things. You know? They make the church commercialize to earn money. It is not the will of God. We need it, but focus to the life of the people. Why there is a church for these people to go? Why there is hospital for the sick? This is here, spiritual sickness. We need God for this time, this end time. We need Jesus. How we know? If we don't see in us, the word, the light, is fellowship. So it's very important. Hallelujah. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Can we stand? And uh, to know that uh, this word is in your heart, we have to pray. Uh, together with me so that this uh, word will be in your heart God will uh, restore in your heart God will uh, take it and, and reach in pagyayamani ng Diyos ito sa ating poso ito ay kaya niyang pagawa sa atin because our obedience and we have already the word Okay, and and raise your high uh, hand because you follow me what I'm seeing. So, okay, say it to your word because it's the compassion of being, uh, you know, uh, 
accept the word what you heard today. Okay? Okay. Through the sermon, say your word. In study, I now understand the importance of having fellowship continually with other Christians. Today, I commit myself to bring a part of a group of believers to whom I will give my youth loyalty, my love, and my service. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you, and God will prosper this word to you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.